Hello, I'm Keith, KC Design Concepts, Chief Engineer of Hyde Motor Works. And this is the Harbringer Supercharger. This is the final version that went into production and we do have them in stock right now. It's a self-contained centrifugal supercharger that's capable of up to 52,000 RPMs and 22 PSI of maximum boost at 1150 CFMs, cubic feet per minute, which is roughly 33,000 cubic liters per minute. It has a 78% uh, efficiency. And this right here is the entire supercharger kit. Um, it will come with this front main mounting bracket which bolts on to the upper and lower alternator bolt actually it sits more like this this slot right here is for this tension this tensioner pulley right here and then this wall so this is what attaches the supercharger to the front main mounting bracket it's all aluminum laser cut this is a an Euler pulley and it uses a, gog, a cog belt or a gimbal belt some people call it um, because it's a gimbal belt um, it has teeth and this is what engages in this pulley and on the supercharger it's not like a V belt or a serpentine belt that requires friction so this belt doesn't have to be super tight it only has to be tight enough to make sure that the teeth fully engage with both of these. And there's also the upper support bracket that's folded over by the Vanos unit. Just adds a little extra stability. This right here is a 130 millimeter drive pulley. This is what we consider our low boost pulley. And it should be good for about six to seven PSI and it bolts on to the front of the power steering pump. Right now, this is the older style power steering pump that has the bell-shaped pulley. So behind here, there's a spacer that bolts this onto the power steering pump. If you had the newer style power steering pump that's found in the later E36s and E46s, this offset here on the pulley would fit into the power steering pulley. You would take this and flip it around the other way. So it can be used on either one. So if you're running one type of power steering pump and you're gonna change it over to the other style, you won't need to buy another pulley. Um, we will be offering a larger drive pulley for people who wanna turn the boost up higher. Right now I have this Harbringer Supercharger Kit mounted on my old 3 liter M50. It's still a good engine, but you'll notice that I have the M54 um, intake manifold on here. And I did that for a couple of reasons. One, this is the larger of the three manifolds that's used on the 50, 52, and 54 engines. Just to make sure that everything clears and there's no problems. Now, because I'm also running low boost, we're going to run the discharge from the supercharger over here. It's going to go directly into the throttle body without an intercooler. Um, I'm going to weld a fitting in here so they can use a bypass valve or if you're using um, a mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor tune factory ECU and you would bypass from here to the inlet of the supercharger when you're in deceleration or steady cruise down the road and you don't need boost. It just recirculates the air back in again. And because if it's a mass airflow sensor tune, um, it's considered to be metered air, meaning the air has already been drawn in past the mass airflow sensor and the ECU has already made the necessary calculations to provide the right amount of fuel for that amount of air but if you're going with a standalone ECU that's using speed density using a map sensor and you don't need the mass airflow sensor anymore 
Now fitting will come in handy for if you wanted to use a uh, just a standard blow-off valve. And blow-off valves do sound pretty neat. I mean that'll work just fine in that setup. Or if you're going to have an alpha end tune done on your factory ECU, reflashing or it's a chip tune, one of the older ones. Um, right now I'm just using this 90 degree elbow for the inlet because there's a lot of options as to whether or not you're going to use a mass airflow sensor. Do you already have um, some type of aftermarket cold air intake that you want to try to keep when running the supercharger? So you might want to do your own um, custom charge pipe or intake pipe, I should say. Sorry about that. Or are you going to do something completely different? Um, I typically, typically run the um, inlet um, down next to the rat ear and there's a hole that's just behind the headlight that runs down and you can get access to clean fresh air behind the driver's side or left hand side uh, driving light but it's a bunch of different options and what you want to do how you want to set it up um, now this is on the M54 if you had the M50 or M52 intake manifold, your throttle body would be roughly about in this area. So this pipe right here would be a little bit longer and have more of a curve to it to angle it up to that throttle body. It's actually a very, I designed it to be a very simple, the bolt on kit. Um, if you can change an alternator on your car, you can bolt this supercharger on. It's really that simple.